Hey guys, welcome to another review and today I have my um, 11th Doctor's Nano Chip Recorder from um, Season 6, I think he used it in the second episode um, on uh, the uh, guard guy, the gay one you find out in the end of the episode, spoiler alert and um, Amy, Rory and himself here it is and just to give you a bit of a backstory he'd essentially inject um, a recorder into your palm here you tap it, your it pulsate red, and then you could talk into it, and it would remember what you said. And then if you look at it, it flash red, and you know you've left yourself a message. You press it, and it'd play it back in case you saw one of the uh, silence and you forgot about it. So, although it didn't feature that much in the show, I'm kind of happy they made a toy of it. It's pretty cool. Light sound effects and 10 second voice recorder. Now chip injection sequence with sound effects. Nano recorder. Legal stuff, character options logo there, typical 11th Doctor's uh, Doctor Who kind of style logo. This is quite an old uh, toy as well now. I picked this up for £5 from a market two years ago ish, and I've been looking for the box and I found it today. And yeah, I figured why not review it. Anyway, here we've got a few uh, instructions and what have you here. So, yeah, I'll just uh, take this and uh, open it to the camera. It's a bit dusty, but um, yeah, I haven't really messed with the box. The box just kind of goes in the attic, and I keep the nano chip recorder under my bed or something until I find a nice spot to leave it. Anyway, here it is. And it looks awesome, to be frank. Kind of big actually, I'll just move the camera back a bit. Here we go. It is awesome. The detail on it is very nice. I always thought this was kind of funny. It looks like a smiley face. It it looks like it's been in the TARDIS for how long and detail all over it is very nice. And my one complaint actually was clear in the show this was. I mean, if they made that a bit kind of dirty on the inside, brownish, whatever, it would look kind of cool. This uh, has just red transparent plastic which looks very cool you have a um, simulated screw here and there which looks very nice and the overall kind of marks on it and everything is very nice As, uh, looking at the pictures on the box if I just put you in the shop and get it it just looks like it's got a bit of a brush metal effect with a few scuff marks on it but I think the end product this one looks a lot nicer so yep on this side though, you've got your speaker hole, your copyright crap, 2010 this was. Screw hole, screw hole, screw hole, screw hole, screw hole, screw hole, screw hole. And their battery pack, which is disguised relatively well, but it also looks like a smiley face. It is, oh, and this stupid certified Europe thing. Why they can't put this and all this on the underside of the battery cover is beyond me. That's what Diamond Select did with a few of their products, like the... Uh, the tricorder, that was it, which is very cool. I like the fact that they just do that. So here it is with its um, handle, which is uh, obviously plastic, not real metal. So uh, as a whole, pretty hollow throughout the whole thing, but it's got a decent amount of weight to it. And um, as a whole, it looks really cool. So essentially, if you want to inject yourself, um, start off with injecting yourself, you'd pull this section back. You can see it lights up red, pulsates I should say, this side doesn't light up red. And then you'd uh, put it to your hand and essentially you'd press the button and you'd hear the sound effect. Alright, so once you've done that you've essentially injected yourself with it. And um, just to make sure, if you press it, like I'm just going to say I'm playing with it now, so I press it. There you go. I press the trigger again and um, it lights up, it just shines a light, it isn't really in my hand, don't worry. And I can press it and I'll play myself a message. I haven't saved one and... Um, no, there isn't one. And if you press this once, it will play it as well, as you can see there. It shines, that's pretty cool. So uh, to record a message, you'd... Um, Press and hold this, and uh, 
You know what? This sounds like a no one. Hold on. I'm sure I've got something here on the side. I've been meaning to try this. So if I press this twice, no, if I press and hold down on it. Oh wait, hold on. I think now it will work. So yeah, let's just say that was um, I don't know how long, and you could uh, press this once. I just wanted to try and do that. We can do this. And yeah, you can't stop the sound. Um, let's move my screwdriver to the side. You can't actually um, stop the sound, which is kind of irritating. However, um, what you could do is you can um, do something really childish like this. And now you can go. There you go, you've got yourself a little gun. So I can imagine the kids doing that. That's pretty cool. Um, but as a, that doesn't really test sound quality, so I'm just going to uh, press the button and talk for a bit. As a whole, I'd say that the sound quality is quite nice, and um, my one problem is that this light is a bit dim. So that's just a little test. As a whole, I'd say the sound quality is quite nice, and um, my one problem is that this light is a bit dim. Yeah, so um, if I was role playing with this as if it was the actual toy, so I'm just going to go. There are two silents on my left. I forget what they're actually called. I'm just going to call them silence for now, so I can just do this. So yeah, I've injected myself, or, or just say I've already recorded the message. And I can be like, oh no, I've got a message. There are two sides on my left. So yeah. It's very cool. Um, it doesn't come with batteries, which is a shame. It does take two double A's. No, triple A's, sorry. And um, as a whole, it's very nice. Um, it isn't the most action-y prop, and I can imagine someone getting a bit bored of it after a while, but... For the most part, it's very nice, and as far as display purposes go, it looks really cool on a shelf if you've got a little 11th Doctor kind of display, so you can have this, this, and yeah, you can have a little field day. And um, to erase the message, press this and just quickly take your thumb off and yeah, these are little holes, let me see if I can do it better. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, it makes a little sound now, but for the most part, the message has been erased and I can now re-record up to 10 seconds of recording time. So yeah, this is the nano chip recorder essentially. I've um, talked a lot about it and I've run out of things to say. It's a very, very nice toy. It looks just like the prop as far as detail goes. It looks very metallic. As far as weight goes, it's relatively heavy. It's relatively comfortable in the hand, I suppose. Although, as an actual handgun, if I was I don't know, to go on a BB gun fight, whatever, with this, I think I'd slowly start to resent the handle because it is kind of pointy and uncomfortable after a while. But as a whole, it's a very nice toy. I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10, as um, screw holes do kind of ruin it. Actually, I don't mind the screw holes because how are they going to hold it together? But all this copyright crap, it's very irritating. And um, I think as a whole, um, I don't know, what could they have done to improve this? I mean, I can't exactly, oh, they've got, I never noticed that. They've got even more under it, bloody hell. Um, I think that's a bit unfair. I'm just going to give it an 8 because it does exactly what it does in the show, essentially. And um, well, you can't exactly have it shoot flames because it didn't do that in the show. So I think an 8 is pretty fair, it's a very nice toy and I'd highly recommend you pick one up if you can find it, it's a nice addition to your collection. 
and you can get the uh, what was it, the Time Chronicle or something like that that he gets through his TARDIS door. You could have that, this screwdriver, maybe a fair screw, and you got yourself a little Matt Smith display. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review, guys, and take care.